Well, I've got some wire management here to complete, but she's up and running. Um, going to deal with uh, a couple of issues. One is I have to space my rack out here a little bit further. I don't have much uh, of the pinion engaged here. I'm going to put a spacer behind that rack. Um, that rack I'm probably going to space out as well uh, on the X. Wire management, of course, uh, get my Z hooked up. I'm going to need some longer uh, wires for everything on here, it looks like. Uh, figure out how I'm going to set my E-chain in here. Pretty happy with it so far. Only took me about two hours to tear down uh, the old gantry there. Uh, pulled off the gantry and all the screws. Be cleaning that up and putting the entire gantry and all the carriages, all the screws with the V-bearings. Uh, and couplers all for sale on uh, on the forum for anybody that wants it. This I think uh, ended up coming out pretty good being able to pass that through. Uh, there definitely isn't enough room on that axis unless I mount something here right to the end uh, for a rotary uh, axis on that. Um, it's just that stepper mount there just kind of gets in the way. Uh, got the motor tuning right now set at about 800 inches a minute. Um, see if I can get back here far enough to kind of see it do some magic here. Uh, acceleration's at 50. I want to bump that up as soon as I get the rest of the stuff tuned together. So. and uh, front to back here. So at this point I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, just have to clean up the wiring and uh, get those racks spaced out whenever I get a chance here and uh, think we'll uh, think it's going to be good. Uh, I will say that for the size of my gantry, that probably I'm pushing the limits of these 381s or the 387s from Kelling. Um, if you ever come into some money, I guess I'll probably upgrade uh, probably the X axis to um, a NEMA 34 uh, just on that axis uh, and maybe go with a 2 or 3V and just power that one. Uh, with another breakout board and then use the 281 on the Gecko G540 to power rotary on the bed. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty of Z uh, available here. It's, I don't know, it's tall. I've got about nine inches of clearance on there and that and I'll be able to push that entire amount on the Z so overall uh, pretty happy um, have some stuff to clean up but uh, an afternoon and it's done and taken care of uh, the only other thing I'll say is that the preload on these bearings I got the light preload uh, and on the the website from high wind said that the difference between light and and uh, negligible preload uh, or zero preload was really about the same. Un uh, you can't really tell. Well, the there's a fair amount of preload on there. Um, it, it really, you, you can feel it when you're pushing on it by hand um, that it's it takes a couple couple of pounds worth of force compared to looking at how it is with the V bearings. You know, there, there's no way I could just push. You know, just give this a, a push and have that gantry or the um, x-axis go right across before I hooked up the rack and pinion. It just, it, it, there's enough preload on there that it can't. But, I, I mean, that's a good thing. It is, it is rock solid sturdy this way. Um, it was kind of a pain putting this together myself uh, today, but I, I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's going to be tremendously stout. Thanks for looking, guys.